Students at Brightwood College near Greenwood were left high and dry today after they were told the campus would be closing. Now, what started as a normal day ended in confusion for many students. Chris 6 News reporter Emily Hamilton spoke to several students who are trying to figure out what to do now. She joins us now live from the Brightwood College campus where the news has come as a shock. Emily. Paula, one student we spoke with told us class lectures had already begun this morning. They were even about to take a quiz when students were told to go on lunch break. And when they came back, their teacher told them the school was closing its doors. Now, according to the school's website, they award degrees in subjects like IT, legal studies, business and nursing. Now students and teachers here are left with unanswered questions, financial burdens and uncertain futures. Students say they're, be they're being given their transcripts with very little additional information. Classmates are now banding together to try to find a solution to where they will continue their education and receive their diplomas. A nursing student here told us she just recently took out a $29,000 loan for her tuition, and now she worries that money is lost because she does not qualify for financial aid. I mean, we're coming together as classmates trying to figure out what schools are willing to take us in, what we can do to move forward. That's pretty much all we can do right now, aside from the big loss financially. Now, when we tried to speak to someone in charge here at Brightwood College, we were told that no one was available. However, we were given a letter that a student says was sent to her by Brightwood College that states Tuesday night, the school learned the accrediting council for independent colleges and schools had suspended Brightwood College's accreditation. Now, according to that written statement, Brightwood College does plan to appeal that ruling. And as far as where students should go from here, we will continue to follow that story and keep students updated here on Chris 6 News. Paulo.